Hey guys, welcome back. Before I go on to the rest of the vessel update, I wanna address a problem with Hellcurt being way too fragile for anything. Which is a shame, cause he has one of the best skill sets in the entire game. What I'm currently doing for the Dark Tower is I give Hellcurt the whole gear set of Valor to keep him alive, because very often Hellcurt only needs to cast one silent skill and you can win. Floor 265 of the Dark Tower Even when there's no dangerous spell casters, Hellcurt can still help you. In this fight, if the enemy Hellcurt silence me, I'll lose. So I need my own Hellcurt to stay alive and cancel the enemy Hellcurt. Two hundred and seventy. We're gonna let Lancelot jump toward Argus, and Alice will take on Saber. So yeah, I can understand why they don't want to buff Hellcurt. If they were to buff his stats, they would have to nerf his abilities, otherwise he could break the current balance between factions. We're gonna start off with Gushan. Massive increase in damage reduction up to 50%, but the main improvement is his new ability unlock at level 20. For each dagger retrieved in enhanced state, he heals himself 2% XP. His ultimate casts a total of 10 daggers, that's an instant 20% XP back. After that, he continues to heal himself 8% XP with each of the second passive skill that releases 4 daggers. This is a huge buff compared to the old lifesteal. We're gonna hit some light tower, but let me upgrade my Chang'e vessel real quick. Light Tower Floor 234 I've been stuck here for a long ass time because there are two problems here. Kadita will surf over and damage my backline then Alice will finish them off. Like I said in the previous video, if I had Freya Vessel at level 20, I could use her to cancel Alice. But sadly I don't, so I'm gonna use Chang'e New Power to burst her down. Odette is placed in the top lane to help damage Alice with her swan attack. As for Kadita, Minsita will pull her forward so that Gatot can taunt her. That way, Kadita can use her skill to fly towards my Chang'e and Odette. All the way to 240. <laughs> Man, again, there's Valor in the back. I'm working on Argus at the moment, so I have no soul materials for Freya. I can't use her to cancel Valor. Let's go with this. 
I'm letting Freya get charmed. There's nothing she can do anyway without her vessel. Odette will help me damage Vela with her swan attack, and let's hope Chang'e can take care of them. Right, before we move on, I want to show you this. When you see Harley, try to adjust your gear so that Odette has more attack than Chang'e. That way, Harley will banish Odette instead of Chang'e. In the 9 seconds of banishment, Chang'e can deal a lot of damage with her passive, so avoid letting her getting banished. Next up, Tail. She used to have 75% chance to deal true damage equal 60% of her attack, but only to the primary target, even if her ultimate activates the AoE arrow. Meanwhile, the new vessel let her shoot up to 6 arrows with each basic attack, and all of those arrows can damage enemies in group. The only problem with the new vessel is that Tail basic attack animation is taking a bit longer than before. Let's see how e detail perform in the towers. Okay, floor 931. Vela will push and prevent Franco from pulling e detail, and x box will trap Lancelot in his field. I doubt e detail can catch up with Vela damage, but we'll see. Holy shit! She still beats Vela! Wow! Oh man! Let's look at Zilong Vessel before we do some martial tower. Zilong used to get 60% defense buff but only when he cast his ultimate. He also got up to 25% crit buff depends on his XP loss. The more XP he loses, more crit chance he gets. It doesn't help in guild boss cause Zilong never loses XP in boss fights. The new vessel is an automatic heal whenever his XP goes down to 30%. He will heal himself 25% of his XP over the next 5 seconds. And it can be triggered again after 7 seconds. This is somewhat better cause it doesn't require skill cast or anything. But for it to actually matter, you have to bring his vessel to level 30 so he can heal 40% of his HP. I don't really care about Zilong. He's a half damn dealer, half tank, and he doesn't excel in anything. What actually matters for me is the new crit buff at level 20. It means he has a max crit chance of 31% in battle, or 34% if the vessel is maxed. 
This is very important to maximize your guild boss damage if you want to be competitive there. Marshall Tower Floor 270 Angela's gonna be a problem cause Hanabi is usually the one that gets jammed. The worst one to get jammed would be Editel. If yours get jammed, just move Editel around until somebody else gets it. You see that? When Zilong died, there were 4 enemies on the field. E-Detail just killed them all. This is why since the release of Soul Vessel, I have advised everybody to work on the damn dealer first. The last one is Saber, the craziest change, a complete different hero. When he casts his ultimate, he gains 30% attack, 20% crit chance, and get this, status immunity for 8 seconds. That's insane! He also heals himself 30% XP. The crazy part, and this is what I hate the most, those buffs can be repeated 3 times in one battle if you max out his vessel. Man, another vessel for us to max out. I was wondering why they put him in the honor shop and here's our answer. He's no doubt the strongest jumper at the moment, even surpassed the power of Lancelot as max vessel. So here's campaign 49-25. Saber is a single target damn dealer, so he's not the main damn dealer type. But he'll help you tremendously be it PvP or PvE. I'm using Saber in this fight to help Vexana target Chang E and take her out first. I mentioned in the jumper video that the jumpers are very important in PvP cause they force your enemies to mess up their formation or risk getting important heroes killed. I need to max out Saber Vessel to compete in honor. Ah, there's so many heroes for me to work on at the moment. So the video ends here. If you need help for campaigns 4925, then watch on. For the second battle, I use the usual Veiler Gatot with Hanabi help, cause the Marshall squad doesn't need her help in this stage. You'll see later.
song of fire. Rob up first. One shot. My flame One. shall reignite. The third battle, I'm using Xbox to trap Lancelot. That's why I didn't need Hanabi help. Akai will stun Franco and we leave the rest to Iditel. The final battle, Harley will banish Chang E. I hope that Hellcurt can silence the enemies once, but I doubt it because Valor took his years back, so Hellcurt would most likely be dying quickly in this fight. Right, I hope that helps and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!